Welcome to CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will explore the visual and geometric proof of the algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Welcome to another video of CIE Math Solutions. In the previous videos, we have explored the visual proof of the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We have also shown the algebraic derivation of the identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We have also used the identity in expanding the square of any binomial of the form ax plus b. The playlist of all these videos about math proofs and derivations can be found on the link above this video or in the description below. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell icon for you to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have already subscribed, please don't forget to like the videos. In the previous videos, some viewers asked me, how about the algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared? Why is there a minus 2ab in the expansion? Where did it come from? How is it represented visually or geometrically? We will have the answers of these questions in this video. But before we proceed, let us recall the prerequisite concepts needed for the visual proof. First is the area of a square, and the second is the area of a rectangle. For the area of a square with side s, it is given by a is equal to s squared. On the other hand, for the area of a rectangle, the area is given by a equals lw. To summarize the formulas, the area of a square is given by a equals s squared and the area of the rectangle is equal to LW. The last concept needed for the proof is the distributive property of multiplication, which states that if we multiply A to the quantity B plus C, the product is equal to A times B or AB plus A times C or AC. For example, if you would like to multiply x to the quantity x plus x cubed, we will need to multiply first x to the first term, which is x, that is x times x, and multiply x to x cubed. Then we will simplify each of the terms. Using the multiplication law of indices, if we multiply x and x, that will give us x raised to 2. And if we multiply x times x cubed, that will give us x raised to 4. So the product of x with the quantity x plus x cubed is x raised to 2 plus x raised to 4. If we have x squared multiplied to x cubed minus x raised to 5, again we will need to multiply x raised to 2 times x raised to 3 first, followed by x raised to 2 multiplied to x raised to 5. We will still follow the same operation, which is subtraction. Simplifying each of these terms, x raised to 2 times x raised to 3 is equal to x raised to 5. And x raised to 2 times x raised to 5 is equal to x raised to 7. Therefore, x raised to 2 multiplied to x raised to 3 
minus x raised to 5 is equal to x raised to 5 minus x raised to 7. Let us now start the visual proof with a square with side A. Since we are representing A minus B squared for the algebraic identity, we need to divide A into two sections. Let us call a small section of it to be B. If this small section is B, then the remaining section would be A minus B. Still, when we add these two lengths, a minus b plus b, the sum is still a, which is the length of the side of the square. We will do this to all the sides of the square. We will have b and a minus b on the lower part. We will also have b and a minus b on the left side and b, a minus b on the right side. Now let us divide the space inside the square into different radians by connecting the endpoints of B on opposite sides. Let us connect from the top part to the bottom part and from the left part to the right. There are two pairs of endpoints of B, so there are two lines drawn. Notice that the lines drawn intersect at a point inside the square thus forming four regions. Let us put a color to each of the regions form. We have one square that is colored blue. We have two rectangles and one small square colored pink. Now let us separate each of these regions form. Let us also put a label on the sides of each figure form in terms of A and B. Starting off with the big blue square. The sides are A minus B and A minus B. For the rectangle on the upper right, the sides are A minus B and B. For the rectangle on the lower left, the sides are B and A minus B. And the small square on the lower right has side B. We need to find the area of each of the regions form, starting with the big square. Since its side is A minus B, we can find the area of the square by using the formula A is equal to S squared, which will give us the area is equal to A minus B squared. Next is the area of the rectangle. The rectangle has an area that is B times A minus B. That will be equivalent to AB minus B squared, which is equal to AB minus B squared. For the area of the rectangle on the lower left, we have A equals LW that will give us B times A minus B which is AB minus B squared. For the area of the small square on the lower right, since its side is B, the area is equal to B squared. Now let us put back the regions together and label each with the corresponding areas. The big square has an area A minus B squared. The two rectangles each has an area of AB minus B squared. And the area of the small square is B squared. Remember that the area of the whole square, which has side A, is equal to A squared, which is the original square that we formed. What we are actually finding is the area of the blue square, which is A minus B squared. We can find the area of this square 
using the area of the other regions. So the area of this blue square, which is a minus b squared, is equal to the area of the whole square, which is a squared, minus the area of the two rectangles, that is 2 times ab minus b squared, minus the area of the small square. Using the distributive property of multiplication, we need to simplify the middle term. So we will then have a squared, negative 2 multiplied to ab is equal to negative 2ab, negative 2 multiplied to negative b squared, that will give us 2b squared, minus the last term which is b squared. We can now simplify this further by combining like terms. In this case, the like terms are 2b squared and b squared. If we simplify this, we will be having the equation now to be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Therefore, a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. We have just shown the algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. The questions for today are, what is the difference between the expansions of a plus b squared and a minus b squared? Is there any other way of proving or deriving the algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared? If you have answers to these questions, you may write them down on the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on math proofs and derivations, math tutorial videos, solve items from international exams, math tricks and puzzles, math resources and more, please don't forget to like subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.